Elisha was the thing. He was going straight to the high level to the UFC belt. No one could stop him. Jean, the show Endoy, was going to do big things in MMA. He had it all, the skill, the strength, the intelligence. He was considered a beautiful fighter. The only person that could have stopped the show was himself. You see, for Jean, who is a devout Muslim, his faith clashed with the practices of mixed martial arts. My faith uh, means everything to me. Uh, it's not only a, a religion, uh, only something that, that uh, dictates my, how, what I have to do in my life, but it also gives me a philosophy, you know. Uh, it's a violent sport, you know, we, we hit each other up. <laughs> If in, if, even if it's a, even if it's in a, in a sporty in a sport in a sport way, uh, we, we are still injured. We are still uh, uh, bruised. Uh, and uh, when you try to believe, when you try to believe as strong as as you want to, uh, sometimes you, you you don't sleep well. When they are training, I'm coming with the water, and then when I will give the water to Jean, he will say, "No, I can't drink today." And he's like, I will spend you later, please, coach. And then we meet, and it's like, I'm testing. I'm like, Jean, the Ramadan is over. You are a high-level sport competitor, so you, you need to be healed, and yeah, you, you need to be good. So I don't know how to do that. And uh, we were talking, and he go back, back and forth, go to the imam, come back to me. Everything was good, till at some point, um, he said to me, I'm stopping the MMA. Jean was born in Senegal and came to France at the age of five. He grew up in a tough suburb in Paris. His solid family foundation was an important part of his early success. He made his pro debut in 2008, signed to Cage Warriors, and with a record of eight wins out of nine, his future looked bright. Et quand je l'ai vu faire et que j'ai vu ses premiers combats, Je dis, ben oui, il est sur le chemin. Et c'était no comment. Je ne commentais pas ces combats, je ne faisais rien. Je dis, vas-y, tant que tu me montreras que spirituellement, euh, intellectuellement et physiquement, tu es capable de tenir, soit sur un ring ou n'importe où dans la vie, ça va, c'est bon, je suis tranquille. But he quit the sport when he was on top. His hiatus was a period of personal growth. It wasn't easy, and it's something that's still difficult to talk about. During the period that, that, I, le that, that I left home, um, a lot of things happened uh, in my family, and uh, uh, I, I had to, uh, w w w when I get back home, um, I had to make things right with, uh, with uh, especially with my mom, you know, uh, uh, my mom uh, has a special part in my heart, and uh, uh, the, the, the time I left home was pretty harsh. It's been four years since his last fight, and his decision to leave left unanswered questions from the MMA scene. Whatever happened to Jean? But for Fernand, he always kept the door open for him. There was nothing to do. I was respecting what he chose. And that, that, that made him trust me. And that's why at some point he just come back to me and saying, do you think I think I'll be a world champion? I said, yes, you are brilliant. And he said, okay, I'm back. And I was just, I was in my place and had tears in my eyes. When I was writing, uh, we, 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 I used to be in the same uh, uh, show that Conor McGregor and uh, when, when I saw where he, were, where, where he is now and when, where I am now, uh, I, I thought a bit and maybe I thought that the adventure can lead me to, to something bigger. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if, if it's the case. I'm 29 and uh, it's now or never. I think my layoff of this sport uh, helped me a lot to get in the right way and according to my beliefs. And now the show continues for Jean, but after such a long break, does he have what it takes to conquer the octagon?
When I came back, I had a lot of those questions. But uh, when you when when you get stuck in this uh, routine, you don't you don't you don't ask yourself questions anymore about uh, I have to prove this, I have to show that. Uh, you just want to win, and uh, that's that, that, that's the feeling that I used to have before, and it's good to have it back. Uh, the the only the only thing that I'm focused on uh, is the is about is the, is the win.